Chipotle's guacamole, really simple to make. It is easy, but also when you go to the store and get it, they usually charge you like an arm and a leg for the guacamole. Nothing else, everything is like, get whatever you want, but yes, for the guacamole, it's you're like, at like a, You're else. at a reasonable price at like 6.50 yeah. and you get the guac. And and make then... this and bring it to Chipotle, <laughs> for the love of God. What, what most people that watch Food Network know about avocados is there's this whole cool trick where you go here and you go around it. Everyone knows that, to me it's boring, it's lame. What I like to do, when you're just mashing up an avocado, it's nice and ripe, you can mash it inside of the avocado. You don't what? even need a knife. That, I, that honestly, works? The last, I think so. And look, you can just peel, give it a squeeze. Whoa. Yeah, squeeze it through. And you just squeeze out all of the avocado. That's kind of genius. Get it all out in there and it's in. Look, it's already mashed for you. <laughs> <laughs> Missed the trash can. <laughs> so we're gonna do the same thing with another one. And while I'm mashing all this up, like so, just make sure you don't get any little gibbles and bits in there. <laughs> it's not uh, not the cleanest way to, to mash an avocado. It's not, but, but it shouldn't maybe be Maybe the clean. most efficient. That actually is pretty amazing. That worked a lot better. And it's a lot safer. Look, it's You're smashed. not slicing into avocado pits. Who is <laughs> doing this safely with their hands? <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is just chop up a little bit of red onion. Make sure you chop it nice and small because you don't want to be chopping into big red onion yeah. pieces. When Mike does that, just add a little bit of salt, a little hint of pepper. Get the lime flowing, roll the lime around, play with it, touch it. <laughs> just like the avocado, get it nice and juicy. And if you're having trouble getting juice out of the lime, throw it in the microwave. 20 seconds, it will release all the juices. Limes get really turned on by microwaves. All right, we'll use... A little bit of red onion. It's like you a don't... quarter of a red onion. That's enough, I think. Right there. Jesus Christ. It's, I like red onion, yeah, sir. But I don't. <laughs> well, I do, but I don't like that much. All right, so a little bit of cilantro, too. You don't even really have to cut the lime, you just stick a fork in its side and just go like that. Mr. Trick Master today. Look at that. Who needs knives when I'm you got... I'm still not completely convinced that these tricks actually work, but... Well, you're seeing them firsthand. <laughs> How are they not working when well, you're Well, I'll seeing taste them it. I'll, it's not going to taste any different. It's already mashed up, though. I didn't even right. shit. A little bit of cilantro. This man loves cilantro. Did you get the salt pepper in there? Yeah, let's add a little bit more salt, though. I just I can smell it. Now. The avocados yeah, that's love that's funny, that's the funny. salt. They soak that stuff up. Wow, that was mm. like a one-minute guacamole. And listen, you can add a ton of different ingredients to your guacamole. Tomatoes, mangoes, pineapples. But the Chipotle version is very simple. It's just used as a nice, cooling, refreshing little guac right on mm. top of your burrito to finish it off. So fresh and so clean. Bring this to Chipotle. Don't spend the dollar fifty. <laughs> <laughs> it was so fast. I'm gonna kick somebody's ass. <laughs>